Hello, I am Muhammad Zahid and today I will be demonstrating the project 1 uh, for the course CS50 Web Programming which I, have per uh, which I am pursuing from Harvard University. So first uh, I will be doing uh, the thing is uh, setting up uh, the class. So one second, set class app is equal to application dot pi. So guys, I have set up the flask. Now I am running the flask. Flask run. So flask is running now. So now. Okay. Let me go. So you can see this. So this is the website. So this is the heading which will uh, header which will always uh, locate you to the home page. This is the search bar. This is the home button and this is login button which will redirect you to login and this will redirect you to home page. Uh, this is uh, join now slash register. So it uh, will redirect you to registration page and uh, this is the footer. These are the social icons that it uh, has. Okay guys, so now I will uh, try to search something like I am trying to search the, okay. So now when I am searching the, it will fetch all the results from the database. So these are the few results from the database. So let me click on this. So it will it has redirected me to uh, the login page. Uh, so to uh, here is the registration page. Okay. So to view this, we have to be login. Okay. So you can see this is uh, well designed. Okay. So let me log in and show you an example. And by this you will go to registration page okay and registration and login page are interlinked okay so over here i will create an email so let me create test at exam uh, exam.com this is supposedly my email uh, let me give my name as test and put my password as pass so now i am registering it so now i have registered it and it has redirected me back to the login page and displayed message account successfully created now login okay so over here i will uh, type test at exam.com and over here i will purposely try to get some wrong password okay so i purposely entered wrong password over here so it shows error invalid credentials okay so you can see this is so test and exam.com and password was pass okay so i have typed an ss so login so now i am logged in so you can see this uh, this has changed to log out option which will log out you of the this thing of the website this uh, has been changed from register to review your favorite book okay now i will again search for the keyword the randomly then 
I will select the name one of the options. In this case, I am selecting the first option which has redirected me to the book page. Okay. So here it's just playing information. The book name is this. Author is so and so. Here is uh, this and ISBN number. Uh, good read ratings is 3.70 in this case and uh, reviews are so far so many received on goodreviews.com okay so let me give uh, it review uh, let me give it four star review uh, let me enter something good excellent so guys i have now uh, entered this excellent book and now I am submitting the review so now that I have submitted the review so it will redirect me back to this page again so you can see this has redirected me back and it says excellent review your review 4.4 out of 5 now if I go to API it will uh, redirect me API but if I log out it won't uh, write with me API. API is also for login users only. Okay. So I will be demonstrating you that in a uh, couple of moments. So let me again search for the. Uh, this time we will select another book to give you a proper example. Okay. First, I will write it to the same book to show you that. Uh, how it interacts uh, with the database so you can see okay this is updated okay. now uh, let me give reviews as five star Uh, it has uh, 13, 5, 9, 4 reviews. Must be excellent. Sorry for that. Excellent book. So I am submitting now this. Okay, so I have submitted this. It will again redirect me back to this page where it will display the my post and my email ID. Okay, so this was an example. Okay, here if I click on the social icons, it will redirect me to them like GitHub. So that's my project. Okay. So, this is my YouTube channel, my Twitter link. Okay, everything is over here. So, guys, this is this was it, and I hope you liked my project. Uh, okay. So, I used a lot of CSS. Let me uh, take through my code. Okay. This is the application dot by working on very simple procedure. You can see this. Okay. You can uh, see my HTML templates and everything. Each page having a uh, huge chunks of CSS. Uh, search and uh, this is search page, index page. Uh, okay. This is login page. This is the registration page and um, this is the template page, okay. And here I have 404 HTML page. Okay, I didn't demonstrate to you about 404. So let me give you demonstration of 404 error page. Okay, this is the API. So now let me delete some of this. Okay. 
Ito, same for ISBN. Now, if I delete some text, let me give some kind of number. Error not found. Okay. So, this is working perfectly fine. Okay, go to home page. Okay, so everything is working fine. Thank you for watching this video. Appreciated your time. And please uh, give to my project uh, review. How was it? And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And Harvard University, this was an excellent course. I had a great time with this. So now I have, uh, I'm uh, giving a logout. So now I have to log out out of the system you can see this so once again thank you for this course